Marcos Neto, thank you for this interview. With the huge decline in biodiversity in the last 50 years, what role has harmful subsidies played in that nature decline? Thank you. Thank you for, for the opportunity to talk to you all. I think it's an important question. And I think um, one of the great uh, uh, successes of the Kumi Montreal uh, Global Biodiversity Framework was to have given a light to this issue. And that I credit a lot of China and its legacy that we're discussing here from the Kumi Montreal uh, uh, Global Biodiversity Framework. Agriculture subsidies for large monoculture agriculture with the use and have heavily pesticides. That's the kind of, you know, um, subsidies that are harmful. Or fossil fuel subsidies, which are harmful both for biodiversity and climate, right? So it's important to be able to now, as governments have committed to, to identify, to map, to understand those subsidies, and then to figure out a ways that they can be repurposed. Tell us about the launch of UNDP's guidance on harmful subsidies. Let me give an example from, from fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. It is easier to question why do big oil and gas companies need subsidies? They're highly profitable. Those subsidies, I think, are, are perhaps the first ones that should be cut it, gone. You propose those to something else. But when you're talking about subsidizing poor communities for consumption of energy or from other aspects, that is where you have to be very, very clever. And that's where you see the complexity because you see the intersections between, you know, an harmful subsidy to biodiversity to climate with an important social benefit. Managing these trades off in an integrated way is something we at UNDP are trying to do and helping governments do it. There's a lot of talk about funding at COP16, but I don't think a lot of people realize how much money is spent on harmful subsidies. How do you align money that already exists, that are not only in the market, but it's doing something negative? It's an answer. How do you change that and align it to something positive? Nature positive, climate development, right? You don't need new money. You know, the IMF says the seven trillion dollars are being spent in harm for subsidies or fossil fuel subsidies, seven trillion dollars. That is more per annum than the cost of the biodiverse framework, the Paris Agreement, the SDGs, just that. Now, careful, don't go on and cut everything at the same time because there's a political economy issue that has to be dealt with.